everybody, this here is Alex Bigley. Welcome back to my little slice of the internet. And today we are going to be looking at Bandbox uh, Gamer Box number two. Um, I don't know. I didn't do my research today. I do apologize. Um, I just wanted to get into this because it came earlier and I wasn't able to open it at the time. So now I am. So I'm just going to rip the cell tape right off of that bad boy and place it over there for later. Um, give you guys the first work. Okay, there's there's the wrapping paper, which is always in these things. Get out of here. <laughs> and give you guys a first you looky look. So, uh, first things first, I know there's a pop in here, which is there's nothing bad in here, too. Okay, fine. Here, actual sneak peek. There you go. You see? Okay. Um, all right, so this is, um, Cloud from the Final Fantasy game, I think. I don't know. So, number seven, possibly. Um, we has a, an Apex Legends, uh, Lifeline pop figure. Signed by, I'm guessing, the voice artist of the character. So that's pretty cool. Um, of course, got to have that Beckett cert. Beckett certified. You know. So that's uh, cool. I've not played the game. I don't. I don't. I don't play the cool kids uh, battle royales. So um, the scratch them off card. We're going to do that last, as per usual. The art card, which is, oh yeah, because this is from, um, Injustice. Completely planked it. So that's Green Lantern. It's good crossover artwork. I do apologize for the uh, glare. And another one of these, which is from, ooh! They've been doing a lot of these badges lately, these police badges. And they did promise something out of uh, the world of Resident Evil. This is a Raccoon City Stars police badge. That is cool. Um, full disclosure, I have never played any of the original games. I've played a little bit of, of uh, Resi 7 and have played a little bit of 5. Um, didn't like five. I don't know what the deal was with it. It's like, here, you're in a third world country. And somehow all the native, uh, all the native people are, are wanting to eat your face. I don't, know, I don't know. Um, special tactics and rescue service is what starts me. So yeah, Raccoon City Police Department. That's, that's actually kind of cool. They've been doing a lot of these recently. Uh, so let's have a look. The artwork Kind of threw me off with how, how it's done. Uh, and this was also previewed, uh, told as well. Battletoads, you have Rash, Pimple, and Zitz there. And then you have, of course, the, uh, the Serenity uh, from Firefly uh, right there. So, um, But uh, the artwork style of this is like that kind of um, comic book or newsprint sort of uh, dot style. I still don't understand how that works, but it do. It do. Uh, yeah. So that's actually it kind of mm, mess up my eyes a little bit looking at it, but it's still pretty cool. So, and what else is in here? I don't know who this is. Oh, this is from the voice. Okay. That's something they, they need to do more, actually. This is a card uh, from that tells you who the, who the voice actress is, because reading cursive is hard. Um, this is uh, Mela Lee, who voiced Lifeline. And uh, says, for Firefighter Appreciation Month, a portion of your bandbox purchase is helping firefighters and first responders. That is awesome. Uh, fearlessly saving, serving in the face of COVID-19 through the 
California Fire Don Foundation. Uh, then on the back here is a quote from her. It says, no matter what the day brings, you matter. Uh, you mean something, you make a difference. So that's pretty cool. Put that up on Still Store if you like. Uh, and so let's get into the box. Uh, what each individual item is, first and foremost, as I pulled out of the box, first and foremost, other than the packing materials, uh, the Apex, um, from the smash hit Apex Legends, we are pleased to bring you, there we go, uh, voice actress Mella Lee. Uh, Lee is well known in the industry for her voice work in multiple games, including Mortal Kombat. And animation, be sure to keep an eye out to see if you got one of the variants with a special inscription from her. Does not look like it. Uh, they do not look like it. So, I don't see anything in there. I don't know what that means, but yeah, okay, cool. So, that's cool. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so fan art pen. Fan art pen. Final Fantasy VII is the game that showed a generation of 90s gamers what was possible in the future of gaming. We couldn't be more excited to bring you this amazing pen set uh, designed by artist Lynn Ringel. Or Ringel. Uh, look for these brilliant replicas of Cloud Tifa Number to 250 and Sephiroth 99 and 50 respectively. And show you those uh, what those look like right here. So those are the different ones. Alright. Uh fan art print, which is the the uh the frogs. <laughs> uh remember the first time you beat Battle Toads? If you do, you're lying. <laughs> This awesome set of prints from artist Aaron uh, Hazuri. I do apologize, Aaron. Uh, a. a. Ron, if I got your name wrong. Um, celebrates one of our favorite NES games, the one we couldn't stop playing even though few games were ever harder. Uh, look out for variants numbered out of 550. 500 comma and 50. Uh, I think I got the regular one. Let me see. Yeah, because the... Uh, there's one I can't really tell the difference, and then there's one that has the uh, the bad guy lady who is... Attractive? So, yeah. Um, so there's that. The... Oh, I was going to say Diamond City. It's not even close. Uh... <laughs> Raccoon City Police Department badge. Across three decades now, we've been fighting zombies with Raccoon City officers in Resident Evil games. So we decided it's time to give people their own badge. Of course, it's not like the zombies care. So, and the art card. The art card. Where's the art card? The art card, where'd you go? Where? Oh, here. Um... So, uh, there we go. Uh, artist Jason Miller brings us part two of the Injustice Duel with this brilliantly conceived Green Lantern card. Be sure to check and see if you got the hollow foil variant, which it did not. Uh, there's only 100 of those. So, yeah, no hollow foil, which is fine. That's fine. So, as per usual, as I normally do, uh, scratch off card time. So, I don't know, uh, what do I have to scratch it off today? How about this, uh, this Predator bottle opener? I'll do that. <laughs> so, uh, well, that's really not working. Let me see. And this says free band box. Scratchy, 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 scratchy. This is the Amazon Talking Hockey Puck.
and free bam big box. So I didn't win, but that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. So uh, clearly, this is my favorite the whole thing. Um, I, I like these kinds of things. I, li I like the design that goes into them. It's almost like the designs that they put on like the old uh, backs of old U.S. currency. Um, just the different like weird designs and stuff is really kind of cool. So the same thing. Uh, I dig these. I have like four of these now. <laughs> four different uh, or three different ones. I think I have one. I have two actually. Uh, so I did get the fire sale box. I do apologize for not bringing that to you, but. Uh, it was stuff I had, a lot of stuff I had already gotten before, um, and I just kind of didn't feel like making a video that day, so excuse me. Um, so I have like two of the Rick, Rick Grimes uh, ones, and then I think I have one from uh, Gotham PD, so it's pretty cool. Uh, with that said, links in the description. Bandbox. If you don't know what it is by now, come on. Um... Hats off the band box. They knocked it out of part of the park again. Another great box. I mean, this is, I guess, a little something for everybody in this one. Um, so, get yourself one. If you can, if you can sneak in uh, under, the, under the shutting trap door <laughs> of, the, uh, of the cutoff amount that they do, what, what, the, the sellout number. I forgot what they call it. My brain is on holiday right now. <laughs> so, uh, with that said, links in the description, Bandbox, go get some. If you can get in at it, go get it. Cap uh, amount, there you go. If it's not capped, go get some. Uh, yeah, I think it's like 35 bucks a month, which is not bad. Uh, that's that's with the shipping. Uh, at least this is that's domestic in, here, in the United States. Abroad, I do not know. So, but they do, they, they, they're shipping them out like, really quick now. So, uh, get in on it if you can. With that said, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time, which will probably be a Fallout crate. We'll see. Oh, actually, I think I have a Geek Box coming up soon from them. From Bamba? I don't remember. We will see. <laughs> I'll catch you then. Bye.